Well, when we actually made our game, we based it off other games that we had played and took some of the ideas, changed them, and we came up with quite a good game. So it's quite mysterious, and that's, as I said, you can think about what's happened in your own individual way, and then more things come out revealed as you can through the game. You can think about what you enjoy in a game and transfer that into things that you're making yourself. So you're making something that you'd enjoy. The, the way that you can see the actual thing whilst you're coding it, it's more interactive than just typing out lines mm. of code, which makes younger children and older children. Yeah. And it's, it's good to see what you're making whilst you make it. So. To kind of reiterate what Joe said, it's a much more almost child-friendly language than, than others like mm. uh, Python and Scratch. Yeah. Because like, you can see what's going on and you can, you can see it happening as you do it. So it, you're, you're, you feel really involved in it. Yeah. Probably the start off with the Kodu. Um, I really liked it from the first day we went into class and when we were given the Xbox controllers and the computers to just create whatever we liked. We just had um, so much time to just create what we wanted. So it wasn't like a task or anything, it was just whatever we wanted, showed it to him and then he'd say, oh you could have done this and like well done. So it was really good. Well, I think it's quite easy to use. Um, it's it's easy to develop your own ideas, um, easy to create a game that you just want to play um, for yourself, really. So, it's also really good for like introducing new people to learning how to code because it's as Matt says, it's very simple, and anyone can do it and learn how to do it. And there are plenty of like tutorials online if you get stuck with anything, and you can just do whatever you want in it. Start off with something simple, like the main instructions, how to move, how to eat stuff, how to do the combat bit. Because mm -hmm. if you rush into it, it is easy to use, but you can still get lost in all of the different things you can do. So just take it a bit at a time, and then you can gradually go on to making, like, first you just make a world where you can move around, then you start doing mazes, points, and then you can lead up to building a proper big game.